Um, my name is Tina Strickland. I am Kennedy Benton's mom. She's two years old and she has O&H. I'm Shelly Strickland and I'm here with Kennedy Benton. And we're from the United States, Salt Lake City. She had, her eyes wouldn't track and respond to sound. Like usually if you see a sound, your eyes will look in that direction. She was more cross-eyed than she is now. She had nystagma where her eyes would shake and jitter. Um, so we definitely knew there was something wrong. And um, when we realized that something was going on with her and in the States, they said they couldn't do anything. That was just too bad. I went to the doctor in Utah. He said there's no light perception, period. We had no options. He told us that there was nothing we could do and there was no treatment anywhere. She was three months old. So we had, we have teachers that come to our house every week and teach us the braille and teach us the cane and teach us how to deal with her being blind. Um, we actually did research on ONH on the internet and we ran across the stem cells and we did research that way. We followed the patient stories for probably about six months to a year. Talked to a lot of people that had come over here with ONH and tracked them down in the States and talked to a lot of people and they just said this is a place to come. So decided to make the trip and don't regret it. And we got mixed reactions between doctors. One doctor um, was really excited we were coming over here. He has friends that are doctors that work in China in the stem cell clinic. And so he was really excited. But in the same office, another doctor um, that treats ONH was not excited and not happy with it. So it just depends on open-minded, closed-minded. Um, she's had seven treatments. She's just had her last one. She had three spinals and four IVs. Her, her stem cells have been IV, then a spinal, then IV, spinal, rotate. She, she really handled the um, stem cell injections great. She does OT with Forest. It consists of acupressure, just rubbing the pressure points, I guess, and then um, he does cupping. To help you know, stimulate and balance her, her body and and at first he was doing the electric wave therapy and they've done a variety of stuff on her she really enjoys that the therapy part and it's about twice a day for I'd say 45 minutes she just handled everything great no reactions nothing negative it was really good I've noticed the big difference in the way her eyes move they move more uniformly now they're stronger the nystagma is almost completely gone. Before we came here, her doctor said she had no light perception at all. And when we got here, that's what the doctor said. After her second treatment, that was her spinal, her pupils were dilating, and he said that she had a little bit of light perception. And after her fourth treatment, we took her outside, and she would cover her eyes from the sun. So that was a huge improvement. Her, her last spinal, which was last week after, her, Shelly put her arm in front of Kennedy's face and kept, or Kennedy's eyes went cross-eyed. She's never done the eye movement, movement before and she kept doing it and she does it once in a while. She has a toy in her mouth. It's like she looks cross-eyed to look at the, the bright color. So that's been a huge improvement. Her eyes are so much stronger. She's been doing eye movements that she's never done before. So we're pretty happy with the results. It's been an amazing experience. The people are so nice. Um, the staff is awesome. You develop a relationship with each one of them and they treat you so nice and they treat Kennedy like she's a princess. They are so good. Translators are excellent, you know. And don't 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 not come here because you know because you don't speak the language. There are people everywhere around. You can find someone that speaks English and take a translator out with you. And you know you're not left on your own. I think people are so afraid of you know coming to somewhere that you can't talk to people and you're alone. You're not. They take good care of you. So we call the hospital our home. Let's go home. I love it. I would. Just recommend it to anybody who's thinking about it. Don't, don't let pessimistic people, you know, talk you out of it. It's been a breeze, no problems. It's been really nice. I think it's important for people to let their desires control their decisions instead of fears. It's just been a positive experience. You know.